Oh, it was a troll. Every time somebody like Notch burps, the press are watching. Now, Notch is old school, small time little fish. Like the rest of us, then when he posts a tweet about something that he's just musing about, like, oh, I don't know, like whether he likes Havarti cheese better than sharp cheddar. Oh, the press gets a hold of it, and they tweak it, and they warp it, and they blah, 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 and they speculate, and they muse. Because let's face it, especially on Twitter, everything people say is like a Cohen, which is like a, a Buddhist um, riddle, a puzzle you're supposed to meditate on and become enlightened when you find your answer. It's not the answer. You know, like the sound of one hand clapping. Impossible sounding things. Well, tweets sound a lot like that anyway, right? Because you don't know the context in which somebody said, I guess I should have put a period on the end of that sentence. Because Notch made a tweet once and said, I find it interesting there's no English equivalent of, and he forgot to put the word, he put a period at the end. Things like that. Every single thing he does, people are going through it sifting through it and analyzing it, trying to interpret it. In 2012, I'll try to post the links to this stuff, but I doubt that I will because it's a lot of work and I'm really tired. As you can tell, I'm still wearing my old gaming headset. I'll post a link to the Reddit thread, okay? Um, instead of all the other links. Oh, let's see. In 2012, at one point, for some reason, completely inscrutable, nobody could figure out the reason, Notch posted something like, um, give me two billion dollars and I'll put up with your crap. That's what he said. Something like that. And so that's where the two billion dollars thing comes from. Okay? And Microsoft, of course, because why would Notch have anything to do with Microsoft? He hates the whole business model of Microsoft. So apparently what Notch's motive was was to teach the gaming journalists industry a lesson. Sort of like this gamer gate thing. People think that some female game developer was corrupt and had paid money to a gaming journalist or vice versa, I don't remember which. And they're attacking her personally, threatening to rape and kill her and it's been really bloody and nasty. Alright? And that's called they're calling it gamer gate. They think they're entitled to be so malicious and sadistic to this woman because they think that she's been unethical. She probably has not, but it's an excuse to say all kinds of sexist, horrible things and threaten to hurt a woman and show what a man you are. And they're all jumping on the bandwagon and doing this stuff. So this is Notch's version of Gamergate to say that uh, uh, journalists in the gaming industry are irresponsible and will base things on rumor and so on and so forth. This may be why you're not hearing anything from Microsoft and why we're not hearing anything from Mojang. Why would it be in Microsoft's best interest not to say anything about this? Well, if Microsoft's stocks on the stock exchange go up, if people start buying shares in Microsoft based on the rumor that Microsoft is buying Minecraft and Mojang, well, they win, right? So they're not going to say, oh, no, that's not happening. As far as Mojang, if Notch is really pulling a troll, of course they're all in on it and they're like, you know, here's my problem. Zoom is almost in tears. His whole career has been, his whole recent career, I don't know what his previous career was, he won't talk about his personal life. He has to go to work every day and come home and make Minecraft videos back in the old alpha and beta days. Yes, he did. Just like most of them. Doc had a crappy job. Joe Hills had a crappy job. You see what I'm saying? A lot of them still do have crappy jobs and put up Minecraft videos and stuff, which is, you know, that's how Minecraft got so popular. Word of mouth, we rock. I've got five people in this little teeny tiny town of 1,200 people playing Minecraft. Well, not five people, five families playing Minecraft out of 1,200 people just because of me going to the store talking about the dang game. Can you imagine how Zuma has felt today? Ollie, uh, that Momo Jumbo, said, I have, my main problem with the idea of Microsoft buying out uh, Minecraft and Mojang is, what happens to my video content? Because this kid's getting, well, he just recently bragged, I think he got 400,000 
views on a video. And Tango Tech wrote back and said, dang, that's how many views I've got total. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm lucky if I get 100 views on a video. What are you guys complaining about, right? So all his career has really taken off. He still lives with his mommy, but he's buying a little outbuilding, like a little garden shed thing. He's going to turn into a studio. He just bought an expensive chair. He's buying an expensive car. He's thinking about buying the new iWatch or whatever it's called that Apple put out. You know, the kid's got some money, but if this stuff went down and Microsoft clamped down, there goes Doc M, there goes Minecraft. There all goes. If this is a troll, did you ever consider the impact, not even on big cheeses like Doc, who killed you on the Minecraft server, or Zuma, to whom you won't respond, which is sort of like turnabout is fair play, because Zuma is very unresponsive to people too. So I'm like, how's it feel, bro? I want you to think about the little kid who bought this game. I don't know if it's going to be there. I want you to think about the little mod makers, little 14, 15, 16 year old kids and not much older who actually have a talent for this and in, in the real world, in the so-called real world, they're told every day that they're losers or freaks or they don't count for anything because, oh, I don't know, they've got a disability or they're the wrong color or the wrong gender or the wrong sexual orientation. And here in this little game, they've managed to be successful and do something positive and creative while well, you go to your pool parties in Los Angeles and put on your golfing attire and we're still here, Notch. So maybe pull one over on the journalist. Bravo if you did. I hope this is a troll. But you scared us. You scared those little kids over there in Haiti that are trying to build a community soccer field using block-by-block -block Minecraft and learning architecture and landscaping on Minecraft. You had the potential to scare them if they heard about this. What's going to happen to us and our project? And all these little servers that are struggling along now because the EULA is being enforced and we're trying to find other ways to um, survive. There them. Why? We didn't do anything. We produced content. We've given you feedback. We've promoted your product for free. You have no advertising budget because we have done that for you. We contributed to the code and the modding and making the servers beautiful places to play. So I'm wondering which would be worse. Having you sell the game and us out to Microsoft, or having you worry so much about your celebrity and your fame, which I understand, I understand. You didn't ask for nor expect this kind of celebrity or fame, and I know you didn't ask for or expect this kind of scrutiny of every move you make. But are those gaming journalists with their superficial agendas and their petty considerations, are they more important than we are? I want to trust you. I want to trust you. I want you to be a role model for what independent gaming can be. How expansive and inclusive and beautiful it can be. It doesn't have to be the same old, same old. And you posted a video about, um, Phil Fry. What says? Is that his game? Says, says his name of the game. And how much he was hated. Uh, all he had to do was say anything a normal human being would say and the uh, gaming journalists and the fanboys would jump on it and oh, he's a jerk. You said you could relate to that and I understand, I understand. There's got to be a better way to shake up gaming journalism and reviews and the industry that forces people to sell out. Nickelback, you, you put up something about I hate Nickelback. Oh no, that was part of the Phil Fry video. I just posted a link to that got really bad language in it. Uh, I better not post it. But how Nickelback, it wasn't so much that Nickelback was a bad band with bad lyrics, but what people hated about Nickelback was not Nickelback, but the promotion and the fake stuff and how they were made into superstars when they didn't deserve it and how all these little wannabe clone bands came off of it trying to be like Nickelback and Nickelback was nothing and they weren't producing anything useful and it was a destruction of the art. Not that I know the art is born to you. I know you know that Minecraft is an art form. It's modern art. I know you know that. Especially after your music got a hold of it. And I'm not saying anything is pure and ideal and perfect and untouchable and completely uncorruptible. I'm not saying that. I'm not stupid. I'm not naive. What I am saying is we've been here. Many of us since day one, when the gaming journalists didn't even know 
what you were. It's been us. Oh, there's been some rocky roads with the servers and all that stuff and hard feelings and hurt people and anger and, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to earn a living? And I know they took it out on you, but that wasn't all of us. We've been here and you're a role model. Kids want to be like you. Don't use this as pawns in your games with egos of journalists in gaming. I don't know how to trust you now. I hope that you am. Shook it up and made us all feel like we were on thin ice again, like we can't trust and we don't know that you've got our backs. And if you did sell out to Microsoft, oh well. But it looks like it was a troll. I'll post a link in the description below to the thread on Reddit. Not too many people have seen it, apparently. It's only got 31 replies. But it looks like it was a troll. Let's hope it was. Or let this be a warning shot, you know? This is what could happen to our community if we're not scrupulously careful, if we're not respectful of each other, accepting of each other, and supportive of each other. This could actually happen to us. And we'll be scattered like leaves, and it'll all be over, just like my experience with Web TV when Microsoft bought it. I had really good friends, and we are just scattered except for two. I have two friends on Facebook. But Notch, you've always been here. Don't forget where you came from, son. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, dislike, subscribe, share the video. I hate gossip. And I hate when the gossip is generated from within the corporation that we're caring about with the Minecraft. I don't like gossip. I don't like false information. There's too much lying going on in the world anyway. I understand why I did it, but not cool, dude. Thank you very much for watching. I'd hug you, but my arms don't mend. Bye.